this is gonna be a part two to my dark romance recommendations video i realized that my video actually did pretty good after like i uploaded it so i figured i would do a part two because i love dark romance so much it's like literally my favorite genre and i'm going to be doing more recommendations because i love doing recommendations but i'm going to be doing more with sub genres of dark romance i'm going to be recommending five that's ten five dark romances so the first book i'm going to be recommending is degradation and i haven't read this book in a while i read this book as a justin bieber fan fiction when i say that people think i meant it was written like basically like after like how after was a fan fiction and then was turned into a real book no so back in like if you were Justin Bieber stan, back in like JBFF days, which is Justin Bieber fan fiction, where all his fan fictions used to be, before the website got shut down and moved to Wattpad, what people used to do, I think other fandoms did this as well, but what people used to do is they used to take real stories and just change out the main guy's name for the celebrity you were reading. So in my case, Justin Bieber. So I read this as a Justin Bieber fan fiction when I was younger, and then I found out it was a real book. Same thing with the Duff. I read it as a fan fiction and then found out it was a real book. Just they just like the author like it wasn't a fan fiction before, because I like apparently I confuse a lot of people. But that's because I say things and think that people are just supposed to know what they mean without explaining them. But that's my own fault. So this book is really really dark. It is about this girl who sleeps with her brother's boyfriend and then her family finds out and disowns her. So she's like poor and she has a roommate and she's struggling and she comes across the guy who ruined her life again and he they like form a relationship again with like a very I don't even remember I believe he was like paying her I don't I don't remember I really don't remember if he was but you know he was really really rich so it worked out but like I just I really liked this story when I read it I haven't reread it I haven't finished the series I read book two I started book two and I was like oh, whatever like I don't know why but when I read dark romances I just like them for the darkness like yeah the smut is cool too I typically don't really care about that I mostly just like the plot lines and just how dark and messed up it is the next book I have is Dark Fever and this one is a paranormal romance paranormal dark romance with fairies and i mentioned this one before and this one is about a girl who her sister is dead and she gets this voicemail from her sister when she's dying her sister was in dublin overseas she gets this voicemail from her sister when she was dying and she like it's like somebody killed my sister like i need to find out who it is so this girl who's a rich white girl by the way blonde hair total bimbo gets everything handed to her i believe when she reads the voicemail she was like sitting by her pool tanning you know so she flies to dublin and she's trying to figure out what happens to her sister and she comes across i think it's called barren book babbles which was it's like this bookstore and oh my gosh that romance so much slow burn like they don't even get together into like the third or fourth book and i love my slow burns in that one i literally was like please please i'm begging you give me this relationship she was like the author's like no girly you want slow burn here you go here you go, here you go. so <laughs> you get what you ask for is what i'm saying here and i loved it it wasn't like too too dark so it's not like the i don't know why but certain dark romances just have a certain essence around it in this book was just like paranormal. I think that's why it wasn't like as dark as like dark romances. The next book I want to recommend is Raw. And this one, if you want just pure smut, just read this. Like totally ridiculous pure smut. This was written in 2014, so I will warn you. But back, once again, back in my Justin Bieber fan fiction days, me and my Justin Bieber fan girlies used to love this book and I reread it and I was like why did I love this book so much like I was so obsessed with this book it's all smutty and it's basically about this girl who literally has a stalker and this stalker like she knows she has a stalker like she sees him all the time and he saves her from a sexual assault and then they start sleeping together 
And I'm just like, it was just, it was just so absolutely wild and so unrealistic. I don't know what was wrong with me when I was younger, but I mean, if you just want something like that was just absolutely crazy and just pure smile, I would just say, go for it. Like, knock yourself out, honey. It's not bad. Well, it's not, well, mm, it's not the worst thing I've ever read. It's not badly written. It's just like, when I was rewritten, I was like, what the heck? Like, when he saved her, he knew where the light switch was, which I mean... I feel like that's kind of like human instinct where like you kind of know where a light, but like he knew where the light switch was and she's like, mm, whatever, she's my stalker, you know, and like the idea of you getting with your stalker, like, first of all, imagine your stalker being hot. I can't blame sis, but you know what I'm saying? Like, this man stalked you, like he waited outside your house, like, and in like, in the book, he like lays in her bed with her. But he never like gets under the blankets or anything and she's like mm. this guy breaks in my house and he just lays in my bed I'm like girl call the police get help what is wrong with you that's what i want to recommend is cruel prince i try so i'm recommending this now because i don't want to recommend this book anymore i recommend this book all the time i don't want to be the kind of person who recommends the same books in all of my recommendation videos so i'm recommending this now so then in my bully romance i'm not recommending it again same with the book after this okay so I recommended this book like three times. I've not recommended it anymore after this. This book is a high school bully romance. It's about, it's really dark. That's why I recommended this book because this one was actually like really, really dark. The second one, I like it. I, I love the second one. It's my favorite. It's one of my favorite books of the year so far, the second book. But I, it wasn't as dark as like this one was. Like this one like really dealt with dark topics. And that's why I wanted to recommend this one in this video specifically. So the book is about this girl who... Oh, also when I when I talk about this book, I forget to mention that the guys are also half Indian. Like their mom was Indian and their dad was white, so they're they're biracial and I always forget to mention that. But I guess because on the covers, even though you see their on the covers they look like white men. So I always forget to mention that. But I want to mention that before I forgot again. But yeah, we know how it's in the best PLC books, you know. Anyways, so it is about this girl and this guy who's be best friends and she grows up and moves out. Well, she's not, well, her dad moves her out and then when she gets to high school, she's up moving back to that same place and she's living with her cousin this time and the guy who's her best friend just is bullying her and he picks on her a lot and she's like, why do you hate me so much? Like, what did I ever do to you? And he's like, you know what you did. And like, so the whole book is just a mystery of figuring out like, what the heck did she do to this guy? And it has flashbacks and it was just so dark and dealt with some heavy topics this book does do with suicide i will talk about that i will like you know warn that but i really just enjoy how like it really was like whoa so like if you're if you want to just go in for like a dark romance which just absolutely crazy and fun and like a wild ride this ain't the one honey this ain't the one because this one is it, probably gonna mess you up a little bit. The romance is good and it does prepare you for the second book, which I mean, you can read the second book as a standalone. I just really, I love the second book so much. Like, that's my baby. But this one does really deal with like some dark stuff. And Deviant King, if you wanna read something absolutely insane and totally ridiculous, this is your girl. This book is about this girl who goes to high school and she's bullied blah 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 she does something to the popular football player and he's like i'm gonna ruin your life then one day he's like i'm coming to collect my dues and she's like you've been ruining my life for like ever like what are you talking about you've, you've already been you've already been collecting your dues and he's like no like i'm really about to ruin your life now and it's just absolutely crazy like it deals with heavy jealousy um i do want to say trigger warning for sexual assault or talk of sexual assault um this guy is just it's just great it's just crazy it's just crazy and then it has like the plot line of like the girl and her, her parents died so she lives with her aunt and her uncle and the guy is like super rich and they own the school and they own the town blah blah, blah. and it has to do with my favorite trope where the girl like it has fake dating but it's not like usually when you read fake dating in book the girls end up getting with the guy she's fake dating but this one was like he was oh i just loved it she was da fake dating his best friend and he was you so there's a plot line building up of like his the best friend the best friend of the girl and the best friend of the main guy 
they totally have chemistry together, but it's not talked about. So you can like foresee it. And there's a book coming up with them in it. It's coming out in May, and I'm so excited for it. I can tell I'm going to give it five stars and just love it more than this one. But you can tell, like, they have some chemistry there. And obviously, like, he was dating her to make the best friend jealous. She was dating him to make the main guy jealous. And then I just love when characters date other characters to make them jealous. And I, I know I know it's so bad because they're literally using another person to make another person jealous. But it's fictional, okay? It's fictional. It's fictional. It's not real therefore i can like what i like and obviously i love jealousy in books and this one the jealousy in this book like this is on some after level type stuff he's like you can't even be friends with other guys like type of jealousy and it irritated me so much because i hated that but i didn't mind because i liked it at the same time like obviously not in real life like no guy can tell me like who i can and can't date it, you know or not can and can date who i can and can't be friends with um then you're not going to be my boyfriend anymore. Like, you're not going to tell me what to do. But in this book, I was just eating it up. It was irritating me, but I was eating it up. So if you want to read something absolutely ridiculous and crazy, just read any of these. I think that's why I love dark romances because they're just so fun. And obviously they are cringy. I will say that. Like, some of them really are cringy. They start off like, am I reading a Wattpad story from 2012? Maybe so. But once you get past that and you get into the book, you just kind of start to get over it. Like they do say some corny stuff in some of these books sometimes and they're cringy at moments. But after you get over that and you really get into the books, it's just, it's fun. Like it's fun. Especially now, like if you have nothing to do, like most of us, it's just something entertaining to do and like entertaining to read. So I highly would suggest checking out a dark romance. Um none of these are like super taboo or anything by the way. They don't have anything to do with like incest or anything like that before. Cause a lot of people they're like, oh like I want to read dark romance but I don't want incest. And it's like I will tell you a majority of them don't have any of that. Just the really crazy ones. But I just like reading really crazy and wild stuff that like has me like what the heck did I just read in the end so yeah um thank you for watching this video I will recommend I mean I will link down my first video if you haven't checked that one out and I'm going to be doing my other recommendations soon so stay on the lookout for those and I'll see you guys in my next video